so now the next thing that we are going to solve is i am going to give you the bond structure okay so let's say suppose at time 0 the price is given 78.92 the annual rate of interest is 5 every year we are getting 5 and at the end of 10th year we are getting the annual interest and also the redemption of 125 the time period is 10 years no wait like basically this is not 10 this is n we don't know for how much time period are we getting the cash flows and after how many years will we get the redemption value so here our task is to calculate this n okay and they have also given the rate of interest the rate of interest is 0.1 so first we'll make the equation for value what is equation for value present value of outflow is equal to present value of inflow so what is present value of outflow here what is present value of outflow here 78.92 i am paying 78.92 and i am getting 5 5 5 5 the annual interest payment and also 125 at the end of nth year so 70 what is present value for inflow it is 5 a 10 5 a n sorry not 10 the answer will be 10 but i am um, we need to find n 5 a n plus 125 v to the power n clear okay now we need to equate at 10% so what are we going to do is 78.92 is equal to 5 an plus 125 v to the power n equation of value tells us that pvo should be equal to pvi present value of outflow should be equal to present value of inflow okay so 78.92 is equal to 5 an means what 1 minus 1.1 to the power minus n by 0.1 okay plus 125 into what 1.1 to the power minus n right now how to solve this point 1 will go in numerator so we'll get 50 50 by point 1 is what 50 5 i mean 5 by point 1 is what 50 minus 50 1.1 to the power minus n plus 125 1.1 to the power minus n so 78.92 minus 50 will give me what 28.92 yes or no is equal to what 75 1.1 to the power minus n okay now solve so it will be 28.92 by 75 is equal to 1.1 to the power minus n okay now take log ln both sides whenever we use log it will be natural logarithm ln ln means for log base e okay so ln 28.92 by 75 is equal to minus n ln 1.1 Okay now solve for n and get the answer We are we will get the answer as 10 now copy this properly very important
okay so here the value for n is 10 now next question now in the next question again i'm drawing the timeline we have got the price at time 0 which is the price of the bond okay the regular interest payment is 5 okay at time 10 we will get the interest payment and also the redemption value so here the face value is 100 and we are getting 125 on redemption this means what the redemption is taking place at 25 percent premium okay we need to calculate interest rate okay so now again we'll draw we'll make the equation for value which is 78.92 is equal to 5 a 10 plus 125 v to the power 10 correct we need to rearrange this we need to rearrange this like this 5 1 minus 1 plus i to the power minus 10 by i plus 125 1 plus i to the power minus 10 okay now take out your calculator i'll teach you how to do linear interpolation in calculator press the mode button press the mode button and then there will be three options comp stat table so we'll write the steps also first we need to press the mode button then we'll go for option three which is the table mode okay once we go for table mode there will be a fx on your screen so now they are asking that now the calculator has started talking to you now they are asking that put the equation so what we'll do is we'll put the rhs and we'll solve for lhs very simple we'll put the rhs and we'll solve for lhs now we'll slowly go on putting wait so fx is equal to 5 into as I am saying do that only okay 5 into bracket open 1 minus again bracket open 1 plus now wait in the close bracket in the close bracket you will see x is written in red in the close bracket you will see that x is written in red okay so what you need to do is you need to press alpha and then close bracket so x will come then again close bracket then x to the power button x to the power minus 10 and then you need to press right arrow if you press right arrow then the cursor will come down then you need to close bracket and then you need to there is a button called as abs don't press it don't press it down abs you will see there is something like this divide symbol you need to press this button you need to press this button and then again alpha and then close bracket okay just check whether you have given proper brackets or not or else your answer will not come then for taking the cursor to the middle again you need to press right arrow then plus 125 into open bracket 1 plus alpha close bracket again close bracket x to the power minus 10 now we are done with the equation okay please i am giving you all time feed the equation and then now you need to press equal to once you press equal to the calculator will start talking to you it is asking as start it is asking as start okay so you need to start with 0 0.01 wait now the calculator can give you at once 20 values by interpolating 20 values okay so we are starting with 1% then press equal to it will ask you end so whenever you press start there is a random value given as 1 don't think about that value you can enter your value which is 0 0.01 end means what it is written 5 but we will put 0.2 this means what we need interpolated values between 1% and 20% okay then it is asking a step what should be the gap between the values so the first value that I need is 0.01 the next value should be 0 0.02, the third value should be 0 0.03 and so on till 0 0.2. So the step should be 0 0.01. We need values in the gap of 1%, okay? 
wait there is some problem in my equation take it okay so i have given one more bracket now let's see start should be 0 0.01 end should yeah now it's perfect so if your equation that you have put is not correct or there is some error that you have opened more brackets but you have not closed all the brackets then there will be math error or something like that okay so now if you see we need which value we'll solve for lhs right so we need a value 78.92 so 78.92 if you go down you are getting now again we'll draw a timeline we'll draw a timeline okay so 78.92 okay so it is coming at exact see 10 percent it is coming at exact 10 percent so 0 0.1 we are getting 78.92 and at 9% and at 9% we are getting 84.889 correct now let's say suppose let me change the question let me change the question little bit and they have asked you and they have asked you in the exam to the price is given as 80 let's say suppose okay the price here is given as 80 okay this is the price so we need to solve for 80 so 80 is falling between what 9% and 10% so we have got one above value and one below value okay one now one relationship higher the interest rate lower will be the present value because when the interest rate is high the pulling is done at a higher rate so the present value is low okay so now we need the value so now basically we need the value 80 at x rate so the formula for linear interpolation is what x minus x1 by x2 minus x1 is equal to fx minus fx1 by fx2 minus fx1 okay now if this is your if this is your x1 then this will be your fx1 if this is your x then this is your fx if this is your x2 then this will be your fx2 clear you have all the values except except what x now solve for x this is the formula for linear interpolation solve it we have already got the answer this is something that we are doing it for for our well-being okay Suhani Parekh is saying 9.82 okay so I is 0 0.0982 okay now I am giving you all one more question to solve I am drawing the timeline for you all now the price is 75 that we are paying at time 0 and we are getting regular interest payment 
टिल टाइम टेन ऑफ फाइव ओके ऑफ फाइव एंड वी आर गेटिंग द रिडेमशन वैल्यू ऑफ द बॉन्ड टू बी वन ट्वेंटी फाइव यू नीड टू कैलकुलेट द रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट प्लीज कैलकुलेट बाई इंटरपोलेशन वट इज द इक्वेशन सेवेंटी फाइव इज इक्वल टू फाइव ए टेन प्लस वन ट्वेंटी फाइव वी टू दार टेन सॉल्व इट यू नीड टू गेट वन अब एंड वन बिलो वैल्यू ओके
what is the answer like you are getting between which and which values anyone arshia Ten and eleven percent, right? So, what is the final answer? Ten point seven. Again, you know what you can do. Again, if you press equal to, then again, once you know that the answer is between ten percent and eleven percent. what you can do is you can start with point 1 you can end at point 11 and now you can put the step point 001 so now you are going to get values like 0.1 0. uh like 0.101 0.1001 0.1001 uh, 0.1, 0.1, 0.1, 0.1, 0.1, 0.1, 0.1, 0.1, 0.1, 0.1, 0.1, 0.1, 0.1, 0.1, 0.1, 0.1, 0.1, 0.1, 0.1, 0
to the power minus 0 0.5 a 1 minus r 1.04 by 1 plus i 1 minus r to the power n n is what 20 1 minus r to the power n by 1 minus r clear everyone okay plus 7500 1 plus i to the power minus 20 now put this and get the answer you need to very carefully put it with brackets and all is it clear everyone now sometimes it might happen that the equation is very long and it is not fitting in the calculator then what we'll do is we'll take 1 plus i to be x then our start point will be 1.01 our end point will be 1.2 and our step will be 0 0.01 okay basically 1.01 is denoting what 1% interest okay these are other tricks if sometimes the equation is very long and it is not fitting in the calculator okay please solve this I am giving you all time. Solve for this first.
4.5 percent is the answer. You are not getting. Anyone has got the answer? Four point five percent is the correct answer. Solve it. it Will come. That's it for today. And tomorrow I will inform the class timing in some time. Okay. And tomorrow we are going to solve the sheet sums. Tomorrow we'll not learn anything new. And then I'm going to give you two days of time. to prepare and then we are going to have a mock test on sunday okay so i will prepare a basics mock test for you all so that you all can give the mock test on sunday okay. the window will be open for 2 to 3 days for you all so that you all can appear for the mock test okay that's it thank you all of you